It's my privilege to share with you one of my favourite hymns, of which I have many, um, and it's the Hillsong hymn, What a Beautiful Name. It's a song that lifts my eyes from my own temporal life and my earthly perspective, and reminds me to lift my eyes to Jesus and to see things from his eternal perspective. My resolve to practice this daily has been really challenged over recent weeks, and what a strange few weeks it's been with the arrival of the lockdown, with the coming of this new virus that seems to hold such power over us. It is no respecter of persons. It affects young and old, rich and poor, and people of all backgrounds and nationalities. And it's really challenged our presumptions of control over our own lives, our liberty to leave our homes, our ability to work to sustain ourselves and our families, our plans for celebrations and holidays, We've had to get to used to this kind of new normal, which for some of us has meant shielding with no physical contact with anyone. For others, it's meant having to exchange travelling to work and being able to focus solely on the job in hand when there, to trying to hold down um, a full-time job from home as well as run a household and teach the children. And thankfully, the daily numbers of lives lost to the coronavirus in the UK are falling for the moment. But when we look at how costly this virus has been for all of us, albeit in different ways, and the uncertainty surrounding how long this new normal is going to last, it threatens to leave me, like many I have encountered over the recent weeks in my surgeries, feeling low and hopeless, anxious and overwhelmed. And I tell my patients that this is normal, which indeed on a human level it is but I'm reminded of something a friend shared with me earlier on in the lockdown. That verse in Philippians 4 that says, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. There are so many good and beautiful things going on around us, the love and practical care shown between neighbours, even strangers, the NHS volunteers movement, the virtual choirs, um, the meal rotors, the regeneration and reconnection of communities that had become disconnected and dysfunctional, but are now interconnected and united in support of one another. As the hymn I have chosen says, people are also noticing God's hidden glory and creation afresh. The birds are singing in the new quietness of Carlos streets. People are enjoying the plants and spring flowers in their gardens and in parks that had largely gone unnoticed in the previous busyness of life. And many have taken to gazing in awe at the stars and meteor showers in the night sky that is clearer and brighter than for many years, thanks to the decrease in smog. Another favourite verse of mine is 2 Corinthians, which reminds me to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Instead of dwelling on the thoughts that I'm prone to dwell on, that would encourage my natural, normal response of fear, anxiety and discouragement, I want to encourage you, as well as me, to discipline my mind to take captive those negative thoughts in the name of Jesus and dwell on those whatsoever things that are true, honest, just, pure, virtuous and praiseworthy going on around us. More than that, let us, let me dwell on the beautiful name of Jesus. As the hymn says, it is a name that is wonderful, sweet, powerful. In a world where it looks as though human power and ingenuity has met its match in this deadly virus, and the daily lives we once knew have been drastically changed. How wonderful that we can sing of a God who was there from the beginning, who doesn't ever change, that this mighty God did not want heaven without us, and in himself provided the only possible solution to our rejection of him and our reliance on our own self-sufficiency, bringing heaven down to us in the person of Jesus, that no matter how great our sin, His love was proven greater, and now nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we tempted to doubt this truth? Don't the cares of this world so often try to eclipse this glorious hope? 
Let us always remember, as the hymn puts it, death could not hold him, the veil tore before him. He silenced the boast of sin and grave. The heavens are roaring the praise of his glory, for he is gloriously raised to life again. He has no rival, he has no equal. Now and forever our God reigns. His is the kingdom, his is the glory. His is the name above all names. So be encouraged. Think on these whatsoever things. Be strengthened in the sure and certain hope we have in our Lord Jesus Christ. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus.